Carolina started a drive at their own nine. They've had the ball for 14 plays. Now Cam Newton to throw. He's in trouble. The Chiefs will sack him. Back at the 28th, the first sack of the game. Ten sacks on the year now for D. Ford. Starting to call you guys the comeback kids. That's the second 17-point fourth quarter comeback you guys have had this season. Sunday in Carolina. Just what does it require of a defense and of a team to be able to pull something like that off? Communication. During halftime, man, we just really rallied together, told each other, hey, we're down. We've been in this situation before. We know exactly what to do. We just communicated across the board, and from there, man, we were just having fun. I've been talking to you about your skill set. Seems like for the last three-plus years since you got drafted, you always talk about your get-off, your first step, your speed around the edge, but we've seen this year, do you mixed it up a little bit. How has the, the repertoire of moves kind of helped you overall? It's the gift of deception. They, you just never know what they expect. I mean, for years, I know I, I had been seeing it, but no one had seen it, but those things were there. It was just all about putting those things to use. You know, I've done these moves and they didn't work. You know, it's all about perfecting them. Watching film, going to practice, then doing it in a game. If it don't work, doesn't work, keep, you know, refining your skill. Then all of a sudden, things start to work out. I think it was the Indianapolis game after the game. I was talking to you in the locker room and you said that you had to humble yourself to put yourself in a position to get here. What did you mean by that? And was there a time where something just clicked for you? Well, I came into the league, you know, playing behind Justin and Tom. At that point, you have to humble yourself. Just knowing that they've accomplished more than you. How can I not learn from these guys? They've done what I'm trying to do. So how can I not humble myself? We sat down at training camp and asked you what your goals were, and you said you didn't want to put it out there, that you had your personal goals yourself. As soon as the interview gets done, you say, you want to lead the league in sacks, you don't put that on yourself. Now that you are tied for the league lead in sacks, how feasible do you think those goals are, and has anything changed for you with the success that you've had? No, nah, nothing's changed, man. I'm going to keep playing each game, you know, the way I've been playing it, try to get a little better each game, and if I can do that, you know, the sky's limit. And then when Justin, like I said, when Justin come back, it's, oh, it's gonna be fun, man. I don't think people understand how much fun we have playing together. As of Sunday, it will have been more than 400 days since you guys lost the game at Arrowhead Stadium. Just what is it like as a defensive player playing in front of that crowd? That crowd, when they get loud, it's just like, it's, it's like, it vibrates you. I feel bad for the opposing offenses. It's a little hard for us because it's so loud, you know, we can't really communicate, but that's a good thing. I guarantee <laughs> you, if we can't communicate, the offense can't communicate. So I mean, it's just a great atmosphere, man. You can't ask for a better atmosphere to play. Is that something you can hear? Can you hear the offense complaining or just saying, like, I can't hear? Is that something you guys hear? No, nah, just look at their body language. <laughs> <laughs> when everything gets erratic and they, they're looking for the plays, oh, it's beautiful.